how's it going guys so i said that i was going to do a review of wwe on peacock so i've decided it's it's time let me subscribe to this you know and i don't know if i'm gonna go back and do all the pay-per-view reviews like i said i've been trying to kind of create a happy medium here on this channel but let's face it you know i'm never going to be able to escape wrestling uh wrestling is what's made me popular here on this channel of course and even though i always like to get away with different kinds of content we all know that we eventually will come full circle and go around to wrestling once again just like even my video game reviews, I've even started reviewing wrestling games, and I'm even working on recording footage right now and playing through some other wrestling games. So, you know, you guys can look forward to that. But we have to talk about Peacock. This is a big, huge, billion-dollar deal that Vince McMahon put together, and so impressive. I mean, you guys want to talk about AEW and Tony Khan, Vince McMahon... Fucking Vince McMahon, this man knows how to make deals beyond deals. And the funny thing is, the guy that helped him do the Peacock deal, you know what the name of the guy is? Nick Khan. Like, Tony Khan. So, so, so Vince McMahon even has a superior Khan. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. He actually has a guy, a confidant, that's helping him do these deals and he gets a cut it's totally amazing that that even tony khan is not even khan enough he's more of a, a con man is tony khan anyway so let's get down the peacock so i talked about this in my smackdown review i'm going to bring it up here on my screen so you guys could see as i'm going to scroll through because maybe i haven't looked it up you know there's free there's a free trial so i don't know if you guys know what it looks like but here we go. This is the main screen here of, um, I haven't watched this best of W. I haven't watched a lot of this stuff, Talking Smack. The only thing so far what I've used Peacock for is to just watch the zombie match. And, you know, you can still do a lot of the same features. Uh, it seems like you can't skip around to matches anymore. But that was only available on certain devices. Um think it was i never really used it but they, they it went through so many different change-ups the wwe network but they, they've removed that feature because you know i ended up just watching a lot of times on my computer i started doing it on my xbox but it, it was so much easier just doing it on the computer the pc version the desktop version of the wwe network was the best by far but um you see here at the like right at the top main event like why would you even want to watch this garbage they put that all at the top here but you know what are most people subscribed to the network for because this this isn't really the wwe network it's just the wwe section of peacock like if you look there's no branding at all here of it like being called uh the network it, it's just not it's just wwe but there's no problem with that so you see that there's a very similar layout but then again this is kind of like how all streaming sites look i mean it's not so much different from netflix or hulu or disney plus i mean they all look basically the same the thing is the layout is just not as good as the network and maybe that's because wwe themselves is not working on this this is the peacock people uh, you know, how else can we really refer to them? The staff that is putting this together. So first we start off with originals. We have Broken Skull Sessions, which I never watched that. Icons. I did like the Yokozuna special. Maybe if I watched some of the other ones, I would enjoy them too. Untold. I've never watched that. You know, a lot of these things that well, I don't like to watch these de documentaries because they're full of such bullshit all the time. They're all skewed. Every single time they talk about WCW, they put it down. Every single time they, like, talk about, like, the Attitude Era, they make, like, oh, this is a time that we can never do it again. And the only thing is, it's the, only their own limitations. I know we're living in an SJW world right now, but, you know, that's besides the point. It's not like people didn't complain about them back in the day. Now, Ruthless Aggression, 
I heard that they're going to restart this. They advertise it. I really hope they do. Because as skewed as it is, uh, and I love that they make like the ruthless aggression, especially when they talked about the draft, like they were doing the best thing ever. Now, the first draft, it was, uh, you know, I think it wasn't a good idea. Now, there are arguments that different people wouldn't have gotten opportunities to be champion if they didn't have two separate titles. So there's an argument to be made. So I'm very split on this. You'll even have you have an interesting perspective from Vince Russo where they, they and you know you're not going to get that story. You know you're not going to get that story even in season two when they really get into the ruthless aggression era. But the thing is, they actually hired Russo back, and he's told this story a number of times. And Russo was telling them, "You got to end the draft." Because the ratings were going way down. Uh, you know, no one likes to admit this now. I like the Ruthless Aggression Era. I'm a fan of the Ruthless Aggression Era. But I could definitely see why people didn't like it as much of the Attitude Era. It was a lesser than error. It was, it, it was a very... Um, it was a, a watered down Attitude Era. Now, some things that they did during the Ruthless Aggression Era, I will argue, were a little bit more outrageous. Uh, they they actually did they did a little bit more with the women at times, uh, but you know this you didn't have Stone Cold at the top. The Rock wasn't there all the time. Uh, he you know during the ruthless aggression year, I mean he was barely there really. So you can't even say that he was there. Brock Lesnar left. You only really had two years of Brock Lesnar during the ruthless aggression era, but we're not here to really talk about that kind of getting off topic, but uh, I hope they bring it back, but I know they're not going to tell the whole story of the Ruthless Aggression era and how it really led to the ratings going down. Um, all this stuff, the bump, uh, heaven, which I don't even know what the hell that's... What is this about even? What What is heaven? Can we take a look and see what this is? Watching her brother wrestle uh, heaven, Fitch... Who is this? Like, why are we doing it? I don't know. Anyway, featured series. Um, we've got Raw, SmackDown. Like, like, why are these not lined up? When it was the old network, and I'm sorry, it sounds like, oh, back in my day. No, this was just a few months ago, people. They had it all lined up. There was a category called uh, in-ring, and you would have Raw. Smackdown, you'd have all of them together. Everything was together. Here, everything's separated. Now, I will say this. They did get pretty much all the Raws here from what I saw. Before making this video, I clicked through a bunch of things. And as you can see, we've got Raws up the wazoo. We've got, um, yeah, look, all of 1993 is here. Um... I have actually not watched all of the old Raws, believe it or not. Uh, so, you know, one day I'll go back, but, like, they're not the easiest shows to watch. Some of those shows are really bad. A lot of people don't like to admit it. They were definitely more fun than today's shows, but they were still bad. Now, this is my shit right here, what we're talking about. We've got... Uh, I've watched all these, of course... You know, now it's Peacock. That's the thing I hate. You know what used to be cool when you used to watch these things? You would see a red bar that showed you watched that episode and you, you know, you went through that episode. Now it's back to square one. So we don't get that anymore. It was so satisfying seeing all the episodes. And I, I knocked through of all of 1998 and I was working my way through 99 and I know where I stopped. Um, I can't like remember right now. Uh, I was like the build up to Survivor Series 1999, but we yeah we've got all the Raws here. Here's 2000, another popular great year that I enjoyed. We've got 2001, which I don't know why they you know they haven't found uh, little thumbnails yet, so they're just doing some like uh, space holders here. Hey, remember back in 2001 when Keith Lee wrestled The Rock? No, I don't either, but. Anyway, um, 
Man, you know, you just look through some of these thumbnails and you're like, here's some of the greatest moments in WWE history. Like, these segments here, people bash this, the Stone Cold and Vince McMahon. Here I go again talking about memories. But I'm sorry, it is almost impossible for me to go through these and not just reminisce. You know, so it's great to have this content again. I'm scared to see what's uh, been edited and everything. But I mean, you know, not the whole thing is going to be taken out. I mean... That's the thing, you know, I'm talking about their editing. I'm just as annoyed as the next guy that, my, you know, my content is being edited from my subscription service. But, I mean, it's not like the whole thing is going to be taken out. I mean, I think we'll live, but, you know, once you start down that road, I'm even surprised that even the Attitude Era is being featured on here. Imagine if they just started from, like, 2009. You know, that, that would be something very feasible. Look at all this... Uh, NXT UK 205 Live stuff that I'll never watch in my entire life. Uh, they've got pretty much, I think, all the pay-per-views. We've got uh, 34 seasons. You know, I, I get it. You know, that's the way Peacock is formatted to be like seasons. But my God, like, can, can, can we get away from seasons? <laughs> it's not the season. It's a wrestling show. Uh, I, I mean, why can't this just simply say 2019 over here? Uh, you know, instead we got to go through... Well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really like that. But, I mean, the content is here. That's what matters. It's just, don't you notice, like, there's no pay-per-view uh, section? I mean, isn't that a little... Yeah, pay-per-view specials. So, you know, okay, we've got this here. And... It's just kind of like all lined up here. And you can't even like click on specials. You got to scroll through this whole thing here. Like breaking point. I, I actually never watched that pay-per-view. I'm probably going to watch it. I was actually taking a break back then in, in 2009. I think this is when they had the submission match between Legacy and DX. Uh, Vengeance. Oh man, that... This right here, this is an amazing pay-per-view. This is Vengeance 2003. If you've never watched this pay-per-view, you definitely need to. You want to talk about the Ruthless Aggression pay-per-view. That is an essential one. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is just a really shoddy layout here. Superstars. We've got them all in alphabetical order. The first part is A-Kid. Like... This is such a stupid idea here. What even... I, okay, let's click on Bobby Lashley. What, what am I going to get here? Okay. Uh, all right, I, yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted. So that's what I get. I just get that. And I guess if I scroll through another clip. So Heat is here. They've done absolutely nothing with Sunday Night Heat. They ha Sunday Night Heat has had two seasons for like two years already. They've never moved past it. What I did start watching was Velocity, which, you know, I will say this, even though that there were jobbers on that show. Oh, they did add Velocity. Let's see how much they did for this. Because I, I got to tell you, I really enjoy watching Velocity. Did they? I th oh, I think they added more. Yeah, I think they added a few more episodes. I don't remember this stuff being here. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're seeing some Jew. I actually really do like Velocity, and I really did like uh, when you had Bill DeMott and Josh Matthews commentating. I remember that being some pretty good commentary. Also, sometimes Taz would be there. Uh, yeah, Bill DeMott was actually a really funny commentator. Uh, he really gets left off the list a lot of times because it was short-lived, but in 2003, that guy was tearing it up on commentary. He was he was great. Um so I'm happy that there's a little bit more of velocity. So at least some new content has been added in the transition because just before the network uh, was canceled here in the States and put over to Peacock, uh, they did not have um, all those, those velocities. So it's nice that there's some new stuff, the people's picks. So now they're even putting some of this stuff in here. When The Rock hosted Saturday Night Live... Um, all right, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know, The Rock, uh, I don't like to watch everything that The Rock is in. You guys know I'm a huge Rock fan. 
But um, it's nice that they're kind of like, kind of intertwining like his Saturday Night Live appearances. Like if you're interested, I'm not. But um, you know if you are, this girl is huge. What the hell? Who is this? ICW. They bought up like all these tape libraries and uh, organizations, and they're just like things I would never watch here. Uh, shows and events A to Z. So as you see, like they're just mixing stuff like haphazardly like what does any of this what does bring it to the table have to do with birth of the stunner like uh, i don't get a capital corn just thrown here hey let's just get a bunch of stuff here um i get yeah this is like i guess this is everything on the network in alphabetical order no there's no way they could have done that Yeah, but uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, I've kind of given you um, a, a big overview. Yeah, let me show. I think I showed. Yeah, I showed you the search function already. But just to show you, here's like certain things I was searching before the video. King of the Ring. King of Ring comes up ten seasons. King of Queens, because you know it's really nice when you're looking for wrestling when King of Queens comes out. It's not a bad show. Not a big fan of King of Queens. So many episodes are funny. The video is not really about that. Uh, yeah, so they got, you know, Backlash was the pay per view that just happened. So I was curious about that. So you could go back and watch all the backlashes. And if you're like me, you're probably going to want to watch Backlash 2000, which is an amazing show. 99 is also another good one. It's a lot of good backlashes. Um, so yeah, you, you've got everything here. It's not bad. I kind of exaggerate as I sat down. I'm like, ah, I could kind of live with this. And I'm sure that there's probably going to be more um, changes made to it because it's still very young. They also don't have all the content on there. But it seems like they have most of the content, really. Um, I, you know, I, I don't really know what else to search for here. I mean, the Saturday night main events, maybe. Let's check that out. Do they have that? Saturday Night Main Event. The best of Saturday Night Main Event. Okay, so they don't have all the Saturday Night Main Events. I've only, like, watched that sometimes, really. Um, I don't know why I really do like that era a lot of WWE, the Golden Era, the Rock and Wrestling Era, but I don't go back to it as much as the Ruthless Aggression Era and the Attitude Era. Because, like, those are the eras, you know, when I would watch it and, you know, and... and I was a teenager, you know, or getting close to it anyway. And, and that, that's kind of what I'm, you know, that that's, like I said, that's my shit right there. So there you go, guys. Um, there is the network, for, I mean, the Peacock version that's not really the network. It's WWE section of Peacock, guys. So there you go. Um, yeah, you got all the hell in the cells in your house. Um let me see. Did they actually put the NXT in your house along with with the other in your houses? No, thankfully they didn't. That's good. Um, anyway, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this little review, overview of Peacock. It's decent. It definitely needs some adjustments, but I'm very happy. It seems like they're working pretty hard at getting all the content over there. And I didn't look at Peacock. When they were transitioning a lot of the content over. And I know that could be kind of frustrating. But I knew I was probably going to get really mad. And that's why I kind of stayed away from it for a while. But uh, yeah, there you go. I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to so get all notifications when I post all my new videos. I want to thank all my patrons for your continued support. And guys, I will see you, I will see you next time.